Hello everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to CapTech. One of the most important things you can do to ensure the longevity of your computer is taking care of your hard drive. Now, if you happen to be using a static state drive or an SSD, then this video doesn't apply to you. But considering that they are still quite pricey right at the moment, and a lot of people still use older systems, chances are you are running a regular HDD or just a regular hard drive in your system. Now, what happens over time with a hard drive is that it gets really fragmented. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of your system being fragmented and having to defrag your hard drive. Well, what does that mean? Fragmentation happens when files are trying to be saved or moved on a hard drive and the space in which the computer is trying to save it on isn't big enough for the entire file. For you see, files saved onto a hard drive aren't saved as just one single unit. They are saved as bits and bytes and chunks of information around the different platters and sectors and tracks on the hard drive without getting into too detailed of information about how that works there. But if it's trying to save a file and there isn't enough room for all of the file pieces to be saved right next to each other in a straight line on the disk, then what it will do is it will try and find a spot on the hard drive for the last little bit of it or pieces of it if it can't find enough for all of it. And so you end up with pieces of the same file saved in multiple locations. Now why this is a problem is that the more it happens, the more fragmented your computer becomes and it makes your hard drive have to work a whole lot harder trying to gather all the pieces together when you try and access that file to put it together to be able to load onto your system. And over time, all this excessive work that your hard drive is having to do can cause your hard drive to start wearing out. Hard drives have a finite lifespan as is. Even some of the best ones out there may last five to eight years. You might get lucky and squeeze out 10 if it's a really well taken care of hard drive, but they don't last forever. And having a hard drive continuously having to work over and over again, trying to find pieces of files every time it's trying to access them will shorten the lifespan of them. So what can you do about it? Well, that is when you defrag your system. If you're just a casual user that just surfs the internet and checks your email, you probably don't need to defragment your computer hard drive more than probably once a month, maybe twice a month at max there. But if you're somebody who, like me, uploads a lot of videos, I have a lot of files created and deleted and moved and saved, etc. with the amount of information it takes to make a video, my hard drives can become quite fragmented quite often, and so I will usually defrag them once a week, or even use a program that will automatically defragment it for me. Windows has a built-in defragmentation tool that you can access, and I'll show you how to get to that. Open up your My Computer, choose your hard drive, normally like your C drive. You'll right-click it, go down to Properties. You'll see a tab at the top labeled Tools. And from here, what you can do is click on where it says Defragment, and it'll open up the default Windows Defragmenter. And then you can analyze the disk, and it'll tell you if it's defragmented, how defragmented it is, and then you can manually choose to defragment it yourself. Now, Windows does generally try to keep your hard drive defragmented on its own. A lot of times you'll see that it's got a built-in scheduler to try and run it, but of course your computer has to be on the entire time. If you happen to be searching for a more powerful or more robust defragmentation tool than the one Windows provides or one that gives you a lot more information, one that I do recommend is Defragler from Pureform. Now this isn't a promotional video for them, they don't know I'm mentioning this, this isn't a promoted product at all. It's just one that I recommend and it is free. There are lots of free ones out there, you can just do a search for free defragmenter and you'll find lots of them. But I'm gonna put a link to Piriform's Defragler in the video description if you wanna go check it out. But like I said, the Windows defragmentation tool will work fairly well for you, but I would highly recommend that you go in and manually choose to defragment your hard drive. This will help ensure that your hard drive stays healthy for a longer period of time and will help your computer to be able to boot faster, to read faster, load files faster, etc. So if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like on the video. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for your time, and I will talk to you later.